Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Welcome back. Welcome one, welcome all. Yes. So, I don't know, this just hit me. You know, when I looked at it, I felt, oh, there's something that feels like there's things going on behind the scenes here. Some twists and turns that maybe we're not seeing yet. There's going to be a lot of things that come out in the wash between now and the end of the year, now and Inauguration Day. So we see Donald Trump axes Pentagon Chief Mark Esper, replaces him with NCTC Director Christopher C. Miller. And, you know, this, you know, why just basically comes to mind why, you know, I wonder why when there's so much going on right now, so much going on, you know, why make this move with everything going on with the election, you know, and, and the legal ramifications and, you know, why do a move like this? Now, this is uh, curious for me. It's very curious, especially because I saw two days ago, uh, or was it even three days ago now, a rumor that Esper was giving his resignation Right, and it's very curious. This is a pretty deep cut when you have everything so chaotic. Um, you would think you'd want stability. Yeah, well, do you? <laughs> Order out of chaos, right. right? Order out of chaos is a uh, phrase that you know we we hear in certain circles. So Esper's spokesperson earlier dismissed rumors of him filing for resignation while media outlets reported that Trump was not considering replacing him in the near future. You know, so this is from a couple days ago. We see U.S. President Donald Trump has announced that he is replacing Mark Esper with Director of National Counterterrorism Center, Christopher C. Miller, who will become the acting Secretary of Defense. You know, that, that's a big... Yeah, that's that's a big position. And we had talked about the line of secession before. As we watch the snow and sleet come down out here big time, uh, we talked about the line of secession. And, um, yeah, it just feels like there's, I, I got to feel like something is really, we know things are going on. We know things are not what they seem. We know that, that things are not going to be clear cut. There's going to be a lot of uh, subterfuge and deception and twists and turns, you know, like we've been saying forever. It, we, we're watching as the world turns or guiding light or days of our lives or general hospital. That was my favorite. <laughs> that was my absolute favorite. You know, anybody remember Luke and Laura? <laughs> That's a really good one. So, yeah, I mean, this feels really weird because, I don't know, it just feels like there's some kind of a... Mm, timeline change or some sort of shift or they're setting up their chess pieces to uh, get something um, kind of ready to roll for something or another. Yeah, so currently the Secretary of Defense is number six down the line in, in line of secession. And I don't even know why I'm throwing it out there. It's just feelings, you know. It's just vibes. So interesting, you know, he, Donald Trump here, President Trump, Chris will do a great job. Mark Esper has been terminated. Hmm. I would like to thank him for his service. And as we see conflicting reports about his departure, Trump's decision comes following continued speculation in the media about Esper's potential departure from the White House amid POTUS projected defeat in the presidential race. The Hill reported on the 6th of November, citing anonymous sources, that Esper might be among the administration members that Trump would fire regardless of the outcome of the election, or that he might even file for resignation himself. And this is a photo of National Counterterrorism Center Director Christopher Miller as he testified during a Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee hearing in Capitol Hill in Washington. So this is the man that's been put into that number six position down the line as far as secession goes. Interesting. You know, it's just all these reports that were conflicting going on, and you, you got to wonder what's going on. Of course, you know, the whole country's in turmoil. Mm -hmm. The whole country's in turmoil. 
And, you know, it's interesting. Now, this is out of Sputnik, which is a, a Russian source. And then this is out of RT, which is, again, a Russian source. But we could see the tweets, you know. So you could see the, what the tweets that President Trump did and the links to Politico and stuff. And, you know, the reason why I put this up is right here, you know, because you could read what it says. That's been the big thing all along. That's been the whole purpose behind everything that we see going on right now. It's been that, again, order out of chaos, uh, divide and conquer scenario. Yes, and get people pit against each other. Yeah, and, and people have been. And so, you know, half of the country has been partying in the streets, you know, and thrilled and excited, uh, while the other half is gloating and, and is, uh, you know, while one half is gloating, the other one, the other half is, is basically, you know, down. <laughs> they are, they're feeling like the wind's been let out of their sails, but, but many are still holding out hope. Um, of course, you know, what we see really with the media is, you know, that it's, it's, there's a very obvious bias in the media. When you have all sorts of banners being put up saying, you know, this is unconfirmed or, you know, even things coming up when you want to go and click on a video to, to look at something that is counter to what the mainstream is saying. And it asks you, are you sure you want to proceed? Because this, this is probably, well, fake news. Right. You know, are you sure you want to let your brain wander on its own? Think for yourself. I don't know. <laughs> right. Exactly. You know, again, and it's it's that left right divide that we see and that can uh lead to all sorts of chaos and you know hang on tight because we have a lot of interesting dates coming you know here today is the 8th right of november so we're like is on oh, no, this ninth okay so we got five days until the 14th and the 14th is uh that eclipse and there's a lot of as we've been saying there's certain dates to watch uh, because the elite watch these dates, you know, and, you know, the kings and queens of old used to have their own astrologers as well uh, to know when things were adv advantageous to, say, launch a campaign or something along those lines. So we got some interesting times ahead, November 14th, November 30th, uh, December 14th is, you know, again, the electors casting the votes. And, you know, we have inauguration, I think that's the 20th or 21st um, of January, by the way. So that's a long way off. There's a lot that can happen between now and then. Um, and then, of course, we have the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction on the 21st. And we were just talking about something else that was um, going to be impacting around that day or somebody else. I forget what that conversation was, but we'll, I'm sure we'll dig it up and, and let you guys know. So any last thoughts on this? No, just really, we're watching it. You guys watch it. You know, on Trump's chart, though, come November 20th, things should shift into his favor. So I'm curiously watching that. Yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see because here we are. That's 11 days away. Um, I wonder if there will be a big shift then. It feels like something momentous is, is coming. Yeah, definitely. As always, guys, thank you for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. God bless and namaste. God bless and namaste.